Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Proc Jam 2018. The Proc Jam is a procedural generation jam that challenges developers to make something that makes something. Basically, you're just meant to make um, something that has to do with generative software. It can be a game, it can be art, it can be music, it can be wallpapers, it can be whatever. And then you submit your work. There's no actual ending deadline, however, on October 19th to October 29th was when the actual like jam took place. There was also a bunch of talks and resources released, there were some asset packs released, some tutorials released, and more and more and more. Rock Jam's a really amazing jam, and if you want to help promote it, you should check out the jam page and take a look for next year's Proc Jam. I'm playing all of the things that were entered. We're checking them out for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual projects will be in the description so you can check them out. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites up on Big Boss Battle, which you can see when that comes around. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. If you want to support what I do, consider checking out the links in the bottom of the description to my social media platforms and Patreon. Next. We're checking out character generators. So this generates a load of these little people. I like the ones with the flowers and the rounded hats. The flowers sort of look like wands, like when they're held upside down, though. You can just hit regenerate, and it'll make a bunch more people. That one has a flower and a knife. <laughs> a couple of them have a flower and a knife. This guy just has two knives. Uh, I don't know what... Oh, we can make more of them. Look at... Generate a whole page full. And you can use them as characters in your game. You can export them easily. Uh, and there you go. Have a bunch of different generative characters. A whole audience of them. They're simple, but they all work quite well. Next. We're playing Drag to Hell. Ooh, it's making our level for us. Our own handmade level. Alright. How do we move arrow keys? Like, arrow keys and WSD neither are moving us. Oh wait, well, we're just going really slow. It's okay though, because we're still moving. And that's all that matters, really, as we kill these. We're out of ammo. Ugh. They really push you. I wish we could run away. Yeah, you are dead. It's just not quite finished yet, but it's cool that it procedurally generates the level. Next. We're checking out Snowy Forest Gen. This generates little snowy forest themes that you can... themes? Um, like backgrounds almost that you can watch slowly fill up with snow as they drop. And then you can hit reset at any point to sort of see the whole thing start again. It's really, really adorable and quite relaxing to watch. They wanted a spooky forest generator, but instead made a, a sort of snow globe. Which, I don't know, is great. I quite like the snow globe. I quite like that it's got a couple of trees. I feel like if it didn't have the snow and instead had something scary coming down or whatever, it might be a bit scarier, but I don't know, I find snow to be quite calming. And not scary. This is just really cutely done. In Pico 8, nonetheless. Next. We're checking out another Twitter bot. This one's Liar's Dictionary. So, Liar's Dictionary of English, copyright, 2008, all rights reserved. So this is like, defining stuff. Um, so there are entries from Liar's Dictionary of English every hour. So, let's find one I can read. Colonious, full of kitchens. These are weird words. Adelect, to delight away from. Crudizator, one who makes raw. Cr creature, it almost looks like creature, but spelled slightly differently. The result of growing. So if you want some new words to play around with in your timeline, every hour you can get one. Levant, which is falling. Argruitive, given to making known. Magnitude, the quality of being great. It's quite interesting to have all of these different words. It's randomly sent. It's interesting to see which ones people have liked. Carrying moons. Luniferios. Next. So this isn't a Twitter bot. It's a Mastod. Mastodon? I don't know. Bot, which is another social media network. But it's called uh, Pokemon Trainer Bot. Um, and basically, it's the bot account of a Pokemon trainer. So, no time to rest, Zigzagoon. More training is ahead. I think Zigzagoon did an awesome job of defeating a wild Puchiana. 
Yes, I finally stocked up on lemonade here in Rustboro City, feeling pumped. So basically, if you follow them on the social media platform, you'll get to see updates on their adventure through, um, I don't know, the world of Pokemon. Uh, I bought five Awakenings while in Slate Poor City. I'm feeling much more prepared now. These all make sense. They sound like things a Pokemon trainer would tweet about. Zigzagoon defeated a wild Pochiana with headbutt. I do wish there were sometimes pictures of this trainer and the Zigzagoon. Caught a wild Skirskit recovering when Pin Missile hits too hard by Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon got super strong. This is really adorable. Next. This is another thing that I can't quite use, but instead can just sort of talk about it. Uh, basically, this is Gen Design MC Floor Planner. It allows you to... It's like a mod for Minecraft that allows you to edit the floor within Minecraft. Um, so you can put it in MC Edit in that program and then use it. And then once you have this mod installed, you can generate different floorings in Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft in ages and I have no idea how mods work, but um, a lot of times we spend a lot of um, time building. And we used MC Edit for various mini games, so I can see it being quite nice to have a way to procedurally generate stuff. Next. Right, so I don't really know how to use this, but this is a generative music software thingy made based on an Xbox controller. So the idea is you'd have this playing in the background of your game and you'd play with your Xbox controller. And then when you were done, you'd have music based on um, how you moved and what you went around and like what you clicked when doing stuff. So that, that sounds like a very interesting concept. Like I have my controller plugged in and when I press stuff, it does change, but I don't hear anything and I don't know how to be like, hey, sound. Um, but yeah. It's definitely an interesting idea, and I hope that people do have it running in the background of their games and see what, like, music they can create. And it'd be interesting if games with really good music end up also creating really good music just by coincidence. But yeah, next. This is another thing that I can't quite play. It is called Graphical. It's a free procedural text texture algorithmic... Uh, it's a free procedural textural authoring application developed for Proc Jam. The objective is to provide a free... Uh, iterative and efficient graphic based web application for said authoring. So here's some of the pictures of stuff it's created. It says the tool is accessible here which opens up this. I have no idea how you use it. Um, drag and drop. Let's drag in a thumbnail. What you gonna do? Oh, unknown error. Yeah, it's like that's not what it wants me to put in. I don't know what you're meant to put in. I'm sure that other people would know. That's just the ProcJam website. Let's go back. I'm sure other people would know, and there's like the full README that you can use on uh, GitHub, and you can check it out and understand how to use it, and then use it to generate really cool patterns and stuff. I don't have all of that time, but the developer of this makes some really cool procedurally generative art, so I would expect this makes really cool art as well, especially based on these three pictures. They're very diverse. Next. Last, but certainly not least, we're checking out Wing Roll. This is a physically printable adult drinking board game, which sounds great. Um, this is like one of the only board games, I believe, that were entered in this. And it's pretty cool that they've entered it. I can't um, print it out and then film playing it. However, I can tell you about it. It's a dynamic DIY drinking j game that changes every time you play it. The end goal is the same. Mark off 36 possible two dice rolls on your scorecard before your opponent does. But the journey will be a unique one every time. So it's two player. You face off and get drunk. As you move around the board, marking off your rolls where you can, spaces that start emptying will gain random actions. They might be useful, they might be a hindrance, they might be fun, they might make you drink, or they might even make you wing it on the spot and add a rule, a fun element, or anything you'd like into the game. There are over 150 of these actions included with the game by default, but blank cards are also provided to make your own. So you can download the PDF and you can take a look at it further and you can print out all the different pieces and then try it for yourself. It seems like a super funny idea, and drunk board games are always interesting anyway. This is the last game entered in this jam, so thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. I hope you enjoyed all of these procedurally generative entries. Bye!